What happens when an appraisal comes in higher? Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb with the eXp Realty, and we're here with Jason Bonarigo of RMS Mortgage talking to you about what happens when that appraisal comes in higher. And make sure you stick around to find out in the end of the video what we're doing with $1,000. So Jason, tell me, first off, what is an appraisal? Well, uh, an appraisal is a way that the lenders essentially certify the market value of the property. Uh, we don't always put in exact numbers of the purchase and sale, so we have an independent third party go out there and see what the market analysis is. Okay, so we get the appraisal, so it comes back. What happens if that appraisal, that third party opinion yeah. of the value, actually comes in higher than a grid upon price? So let's just say grid upon price is 500000 mm -hmm. and that appraisal comes back five twenty. Yeah. Um, nothing. No, <laughs> I mean, essentially it doesn't really I impact, it, it, certainly not a negative thing for right. the buyer, right? It's, usually, it's, a, it's a good thing. They, you know, essentially technically could have picked up maybe 20 grand in equity. You, a hypothetical. Or hypothetical. 20, 000, it doesn't mean that 20, 000, they, it's not real money, right, but, right. um, but yeah, it doesn't really impact their financing. It's good to know. But again, the key point there is obviously as a lender, we're always going to take the lesser of the two, the lesser, so, of the two. Uh, lesser of the two. So if the purchase and sale is 500 and the appraisal is 520, we're going to go off the purchase and sale. And obviously, as we talked about in other videos, if it goes the other way, we're going to always take the lesser of the two. Okay. So some questions that I get, and I think they're great questions from buyers yep. is, all right, that appraisal came in higher. Do I get that extra money somehow? Can I finance more now? Yeah. Yeah. Again, no. I mean, again, you have it down the line. Once right. you've taken control of the property and you own it, again, that market value is, is, is indicated in that. You have that hypothetical equity. You have the hypothetical Hypothetical equity. Yeah. There you go. Say that twice. Um, but no, you don't. Again, because we're going off the lesser of the two, the financing is going to stay the same. So it's not any cash that you're going to realize at the right. closing. Yeah. Okay. So what about so that that appraisal comes back at five twenty. Number one, does the seller find out about that, and do they now charge me that five twenty, or can they change the sales price? We of my get property? that. We get that question a lot. I mean, it does. You know, the the, the, the appraisers don't bring it in a, a well over purchase and sale. Uh, it happens very rarely. But but we do get that question. Is that real money? And no, the seller doesn't. I mean, they can have the right to find out, but it doesn't mean that they have the right to change the negotiations. They have a signed contract. Right. They're under agreement, and it's only a good thing for both parties. Well, and I think the other part of that is is that who owns that appraisal? Right. So the buyer owns that appraisal, right. and they are so the seller the actually has no right to that appraisal. They don't. And the only time we really give the seller the appraisal is if there's an issue. If there's an right. issue on, on a negative side, or we have to go back to the negotiation right. table, right? So. We're not going to say, "Hey, it came in value." It's only it only certifies their value as well in their selling price, so it's usually a good thing. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Well, stick around for that thousand dollars. I'm Jeff Chubb with EXP Realty, Jason. Uh, Jason Bonarigo, RMS Mortgage, 617-413-5038. And our number is 617-480-2600 or online at boston2.com. So that $1,000, make sure that you hit that subscribe button below because when yes. we hit 1,000 subscribers, we're going to give $1,000 to the ASPCA. We're trying to save some puppies and some cats. Somebody and some cats. Out some cats a, so, right? <laughs> some cats so, we get too. We're, we're just we're trying to save some Overall puppies. animals. Yeah. But it's, a, it's a good cause in the, in the wording. So 1,000 so. subscribers, $1,000. We appreciate it if you share our video with friends, family members who also might find this content uh, informative. And we're here we're to help to yeah. find more about real estate. So keep your, your questions coming and we look forward to hearing from you and we really appreciate you watching.